This conference will now be recorded. This conference will now be recorded. Sorry, uh, I'll repeat the connection point uh, thing if you want. Uh, yeah. We missed to start the recording. Sorry for that. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay, so yeah, connection point is your gate for entering from process engine to content engine. So whatever you are storing in a uh, uh, content engine that you uh, to access all those things, you will need some points, right? As I said that everything will finally go into the, your uh, content engine. Only. So whatever you have in your process engine, it will need to go to the uh, content engine. So that that is done through your connection point. Now connection points are defined in your content engine. They are not in the process engine. They are at the content engine side. You define them in the content engine, and then you you will interact with them through the isolated regions. So when you, when I say you, it means the process engine will interact with content engine or connection points through isolated regions. One connection point can have multiple isolated regions. Okay, and connection points are stored in your uh, the, they are created in your uh, content engine and are stored in your global configuration database gcd you remember what is gcd right the global database where all your details related to file and will be stored and which you should not touch okay yeah, yeah. so first we'll complete this one uh, so it says that to create and manage connection points you need to go to ace administration console for content platform engine. this is your ace we will just see how we do that uh, after this first we'll complete the theory part and uh, on to our closed now connection point must be specified okay same thing that it should have <coughs> see uh, connection points uh, must be specified in the cp and that should be accessible so uh, i said that connection yes, points will be yeah please yeah here you see there is a process engine connection point and isolated region classes yes so this uh, so the connection yes, point sir. is combination of uh, process engine point and isolated no, no, classes. connection point is your connection point is your gate from where your p and isolated region would be uh, connecting to each other so basically c and p will interact to each other through this connection point now one point at connection uh, content engine that is your connection point second point at process engine which will be your isolated region once you'll see that now you'll you'll be able to understand i'll show you in the ui so you'll understand what i'm trying to say but one connection point can have multiple isolated region just remember this thing what is isolated region this is a logical subdivision of your database this is the theoretical uh, uh, definition of isolated region. Uh, okay, yeah, we will go to the slide. What is an isolated region? An isolated region is a logical subdivision of the workflow database. So basically, your PE database, the process engine database, will have a logical subdivision. Why do I need logical subdivisions? So, for example, if in a uh, if uh, uh, in an uh, organization, if different uh, sections of the department want the uh, of that organization want different uh, workflow systems uh, separate to each other and want to use the same content engine then they can have multiple isolated region you remember i gave you an example where i said that for example admin team and hr team wants their separate uh, process engine systems the separate workflows separate queues everything to be separated for both the departments so then we will use this isolated region so what it will do it will have a logical division of those databases so technically you will be having one database only but within that database the because of creation of the isolated region the different departments will not be able to see each other's workflows queues or anything which is related to your process engine but they'll be able to access the same content engine so you need only one toss for that still you can have multiple uh, 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 segregations for the those departments I'll, I'll read the theory first so that uh, you don't get confused with the words which i am using i might be 
Uh, uh, pulling here in the uh, well, go in a sequence. An isolated region is a logical subdivision of the workflow database that contains the queues for the work items. You you know what is queues? So queues for the work items. Work items are the case items which will be initiated. Event logs. We have seen what all uh, events we trigger. There are logs for that. Roasters, which we will see today. Uh, what are roasters? We have seen the uh, term roaster when we were defining the steps. You remember that? In workflow, we, we saw uh, in workflow the, which roster to be used. In workflow properties, these options, event logs and roasters were coming. Srinivasan, you there mm -hmm. with me? You have? Yeah. Yes or no? Uh, yeah. At that time when you get disconnected, I'm not sure about it. Yeah. And other configuration. Yeah. These all will be logically separated for each isolated <coughs> region. Okay. Now different units. So uh, well, sure here we can subdivision is is nothing but the two different solution having different uh, classes, something like this. Mm, two different subdivisions means two different database you can say or, or tables you can say i will not use the word classes because different. classes is more into the uh, a different kind of segment but uh, from the database perspective i can say a, a separate uh, table structure so for these uh, separated isolated regions a separate uh, table structure will be there okay uh, you mean the different object store? No, same object store. That's what I'm saying. That object store will be same. Your connection point will be one connection point, but you will have multiple isolated regions. So you will be connecting to the same content engine from the same process engine, but logically you would be having multiple uh, process engine. So that is that's why it is saying logical subdivision because at the back end you are having the same database for process engine also. There will be one database, but in that database, it will be divided in such a way that it for the front end user, it will look like a different process engine. So that's why they are using the word logical subdivision. They are not saying the subdivision, just subdivision. If, if I say, for example, when I have multiple toss, I actually create multiple databases, right? Different schemas will be there. So that is not the logical subdivision, but that is the physical subdivision. I have actually created a separate database, right? But over so, here, I'm not creating a separate database. I'm using the same database, but for two different users uh, from two different uh, isolated regions, it will look like that they are not uh, getting interfered with each other. So it is a logical division. It's not the physical division. Okay. And if, if you read these two lines, now you understand that why you need this. So different units in an organization who do not want to share workflow data they will create different isolated region. So for example, the research department and the finance department in an organization have two altogether logically different processes. It is recommended to have two different isolated regions for these two departments. Uh, this one, uh, okay, so the practical one, right? This one, uh, where we will create these isolated regions, which is- Yeah, that, that, I will show, that I will show you. It's, it's an easy thing. I'll just show you. Uh, but okay. should, should I complete this theory first? Otherwise, we'll keep on hanging yeah. between. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Some yeah. facts. I will share this uh, PDF with you. I'm uh, sorry, PPT with you. So you don't have to write it, but these are some uh, really uh, helpful facts about isolated region. So, okay. As it says, that final process engine will have isolated regions. PCC process configuration control uh, console is used to create and manage isolated regions. What is PCC that we will see today? So this is the another applet which I was talking about. Okay. Then one PE can have okay. multiple isolated regions. So one process engine will have can have multiple isolated regions, but it need to have at least one. Without that, you cannot work on the process engine. Multiple isolated regions okay. cannot connect to same content engine. Now this is something new. Uh, till now, what we were saying is we can connect to same content engine. 
uh, let me check this part this is something uh, some typing or typo kind of thing initializing new isolated region creates difficult structure as inbox default roster and event logs okay so this thing will be created uh, every time i will create a, a isolated region a default structure will be created for that okay Mm -hmm. okay. A system administrator uses FAM, Finite Enterprise Management. This is an old definition uh, to define isolated region. Now, whatever we were doing through FAM, we do through AS. So I will change it to uh, Okay, what all is needed that we will see today when we will create. So these all things you need to create a isolated region. There is a number associated with isolated region, each isolated region, and that number needs to be unique in the, that system. Okay. okay, now we will come to our roster. So you have you seen the term roster, you have actually used a roster, but what is a roster? Okay. So workflow roster is basically a database structure which will store all your information related to workflows or work items in an isolated region. So whatever is there in the uh, P isolated region, if in a very uh, from a very high term, if I say you can call it as a process engine for that particular uh, department. So process engine as a term will be a bigger term because it is it could have multiple isolated regions. But if I say one isolated region and one process engine uh, thing theory in my mind, then I can say that my process engine is everything which is there in a, in an isolated region. And whatever is there in my isolated region is basically into the workflow roster database. Okay. Okay. So this is a term uh, which is used, and this is the. So uh, roster is something we have only workflow roster, right? Or we have any other content no, no, roster we, also? We have, like no, 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 only, only a workflow roster will be there. Why they are using the term workflow is because with every roster, the name of that roster will come here. So for example, if uh, you, you remember when we were creating that teaching, uh, sorry, training batch uh, solution, in that if you go into the solutions the roster name was coming as training workflow roster uh, training uh, batch roster right mm -hmm. yeah so that's why they are writing workflow in front of it so this this roster term will be uh, uh, get uh, prefixed with the name of the solution of the name of the workflow so initially earlier it used to be a workflow now it's the name of the solution so you can create that name okay so basically the term okay. which you have to uh, understand is this roster term okay so th there is no other roster so this, this one uh, which contains key running workflows is it sorry uh, it contains only actively running workflows details right this one work roster. items basically yes work items that's why we call it as work items not workflows but yes uh, whatever is running in the uh, isolated region that will be in the workflow roster active the term you are using is exactly right active is the right word okay, okay? yeah now okay. workflow roster provides the process engine with an efficient way to locate specific workflows so how do we uh, so, so I, I i'm not sure if i have given this example or not for but for example if i know that i have 10 queues in my workflow and i know that my work item is lying on the seventh queue so for example the name of the queue is uh, hrq so what i will do is i will make a uh, query on that uh, hrq i will go to that queue and i will search for that work item and i will find that work item but for example i don't know where my workflow uh, work item is so then what i have to do is i have to make a query on the roster okay so basically wherever that work item is lying i will get that information while making a query on the roster when i say query it is the ui way the way we have done the search in content engine same way we can do the uh, search in the process engine so don't get uh, confused when i say query you have to go into database you don't have to go into database just the uh, 
search the way we were doing in the uh, content so same kind of search we will make and that search uh, the way we were selecting the classes over there the same way we will select the rosters over here and we will get the uh, result so that's why it is say that it is, it is an efficient way to locate a specific workflow when we initialize a new isolated region now uh, again this is an old definition this this definition was applicable till 5.2 whenever we initialize isolated region a roster called default roster is created this is true but when you use a solution it will not come by default it will have a solution specific roster okay so theoretically this is true that whenever you create a isolated region a default roster will be created but uh okay yeah. this is like yeah yeah but uh whenever you will create a new solution a roster for that solution will be created otherwise you can create the rosters uh, through pcc so that was the old way of doing it so for example i have three workflows and i want to get them segregated by rosters i can do that so that part is that as i said that uh, this these things are uh, very much uh, in a raw format i still have to uh, arrange it in a way so that they can be presented but uh, let's do it uh, uh, the way they are now, okay so himanshu i have a query here um, uh, so in for example in singles if you are creating one solution in case builder right so in this case builder I mean, mm -hmm. in this solution, we have mm -hmm. multiple rosters. Is it? No. When you create a solution, so for example, I am creating one solution, and I am having multiple workflows within that. So there are multi. There will be multiple tasks in that. Still, yes. my workflow roster, the roster will be same for the whole solution. Oh, okay. Is it specific solution wise or it's yes yes so uh, in in case manager it is specific to that uh, uh, solution okay? okay yeah then this is about queue uh, if you want i'll okay just give me i'm really bad with uh, ppt uh, yeah. So, Himachu, uh, for one solution, we have only one roster only, is it? No, that, uh, that's what I said, that you can have multiple rosters. You have to create the rosters and uh, then you have to use them, that which uh, which workflow will go into which uh, roster. Okay, that kind of yeah, thing so we used to do when we have, excuse me. Yeah, but in that case, right? So in single solution, we have multiple rosters means uh, we have multiple workflows. These multiple yes. workflows with different rosters, right? They, that is a multi, uh, many to many uh, linking, right? Is it? Many to many means? Means uh, in one solution, yeah. we have four rosters and mm. we have same solution we have for workflows for example okay so each workflow is pointing to one roster is such a design possible see you have workflows within solution right yes yeah so within so each workflow will have one roster you can have multiple rosters and multiple workflows within a solution so it, it is like one to many so one roster can be pointed by one workflow only uh, sorry one workflow can have only one roster but one roster can be pointed by many workflows so when uh, you get it okay. you are you are going into three terms so that's why many to many term is not the right thing to say but uh, i'll if you want i can write here so uh, one will be pointed by many Okay, but what 
one workflow okay point so it's not one to many hey, many to many it's one to many okay mm, getting okay. the point yeah yeah yes you mentioned Solution can have many roster. This is true. One solution can have many. This is also true. Okay. Mm, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this we can leave it like this. So this will be with you. Okay. Okay. Shall I move? Yeah. 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 Yes. Then within workflows you have queues. Okay, so basically uh, one one diagram which I remember from quite uh, old days I should say. So this is your roster basically, and these are your queues. Uh, how to change the color I don't know. So I'll simply make it like this. So these are your queues. Okay, I will delete this part, but uh, just for understanding. So this is Q1, Q1. Q2, Q3, and Q4. Now this Q1 could be your personal in basket, right? Q2 could be your component queue. Okay. Uh, if you Q2 hear you refer uh, all these queues are uh, related to one specific workflow is it one workflow yes 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 that's what i'm trying to tell you that within a solution you have roster within a roster you can have multiple queues but those queues will be subset of that roster so whatever and why i'm designing this thing is because whatever is there inside this queue you can search that thing in a roster you remember i i told Told you when we were going through this roster, this particular line that you can locate a specified a specific workflow uh, in a, uh, in process engine. So this is that. So if it is lying in this queue or this queue or this queue, you can if you make a search on this roster, you will be able to find that. Right. Mm. So this is your roster. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Image. So, so this these are the queues. So, pro, uh, theoretically, process engine work queue holds the work items. Okay. And there is no way to delete a queue. You remember I said that deleting a queue is a very tough task. So it says that doesn't provide any easier way to delete a queue. Uh, These are the theories which are there. So these are the four queues which are there. Okay. Mm. What is user queue? Okay. We, we have gone through all these things. Uh, you remember, I mean, I, if you can relate, you, you will be able to find out the answers. So uh, I'll, I'll read from here and you'll be able to relate the thing. So file net process administrator uh, is something we are yet to go on, uh, go through. So we'll see it uh, after this. But uh, this is used for managing the uh, work which is there going on in the uh, file net process. Engine. So what happens is, for example, as an administrator, I, I need some tool to work uh, to see the currently running things which are there in the system. So for that process administrator is used. Now process administrator is ma ma mainly used for searching the work items. So I, I should be able to find out where my work items are lying. So I can do that using that process administrator. So whatever theory we read over here, workflow, roster, queues, Isolated region connection points, all these things are actually uh, from the front end. If I talk about maybe uh, 
uh, running within the uh, that workflow system and that workflow system when i have to access i have to see those things i'll be going into the process administrator initially process administrator was the only place from where i can do the search and everything now uh, filenet is providing access so that i can do some so uh, searching and other stuff from the ace itself so i don't have to go into the that java applet thing okay, okay. so process administrator is basically a java uh, applet based ui the same way we have process designer okay so we will see this part once we uh, create the work item but these terms which are there so these are the four queues which are there actually these queues names i should mention so yeah uh so if you don't mind can you give the simple definition on those queues okay and i will tell you what so that i can recall again this. what can i give uh, the user yes, yes. <laughs> i'm just going through i'm, I'm just uh, finding a place from where i start yes yes I'll, i'll give a brief on that so user queue is your inbox basically okay what is inbox uh, remember the activity step what is inbox? so can say user inbox activity uh, step where i was assigning users uh yes 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 exactly user inbox so you, user you remember inbox. that uh, where i was giving access to the users like uh, yeah. uh, where end user was given access like uh, uh p8 admin uh, the user or p8 user specific to that right so that inbox is basically your user queue so when, for example when when i have the work item in my my queue himanshu himanshu's queue then that will be called as user queue so for you it will be shrinivasan's queue i will not be able to see your uh, item and you will not be able to see my item okay mm. so you rightly said user box okay. what is queue uh okay. you mentioned yeah yeah your voice is breaking right yeah i'll say okay, java com okay java means i said uh, you remember which we have to go through today so that component where i am using my jar file or yeah so that is my component queue so whenever my work item is lying in a queue where it is working on some java code or going through some uh, external uh, uh, interface kind of thing so that part will be called as component queue so those queues when when it is lying in those queues it will be called as component queues third queue is my work queue work queue is basically the queue where uh, uh, group queue i will say okay so what is group, group queue uh, for example admin queue uh, or uh, admin is not the right word i say hr queue so for example four hrs are there so all we will try hello uh, okay the task hello. is assigned to the group right yes so for uh, you remember we we discussed this thing that for example you me and uh, akhil three of us are part of the uh, tra trainer queue so all three of us can see that item once i move it to my inbox it becomes a user queue till that time it is lying for uh, everyone it will be called as work queue okay okay this is a manual group queue right it's a group queue so uh, we were assigning it to groups right like the way i assigned it to individual p8 admin same way i can assign it to p8 admins also so that becomes a group so it will be assigned to a a, a, a specific group of people so then from there you can move it to the individual queues right or you can work directly depend on that now system queues is your system activity yeah so activities like uh, timer or uh, uh, db execute uh, step or uh, that call call invoke all those things which we went through those are the system uh, steps and when the item is lying on that queue it will be called as system queue so for example i have put a delay on my system and it is staying um, so my work item is on that queue and uh, waiting for something to complete like uh, for example the delay is of 2 minutes so for that 2 minutes the queue in which my work item is is the system queue okay or for example if it to the malfunction queue 
so that is the uh, that that is also one of the system queue right mm -hmm. malfunction yes. uh, is a system queue so it it, it is lying in the uh, conductor queue the, the name comes as conductor queue so it is like in the conductor queue so those okay. four queues okay. are there so we have four types of queues in the uh, file net all these queues are uh, accessible by going into the pcc and within isolated region we will see how all those four queues looks like and uh, how can i access directly those queues and other stuff that we will see today mm. yeah. then this we have gone through uh, okay this we will really see okay so in theoretically you know the uh, big words like connection point isolated region Roasters, queues, these four words you will come across whenever you will uh, go into the uh, any uh, process engine related task. And two uh, UI things one is your, uh, of course, process designer is there, but process administrator and process configuration console. P P A and P C C. P C C is something which you will always hear in the short form. People don't even remember the full form. Like I was not able to recall it in once when I was saying PCC. So PCC, this process configuration console and process administrator. These two terms you will come across a lot. Now uh, I will okay. show you what all things we have gone through today. Okay. So okay. let's hope our UI, uh, our machine works today because it's taking too much of time to start the db i don't know why but uh, starting the db is taking too much time and uh, that was the reason why we were not able to access it day before yesterday when we were trying to do that so hope that it is resolved uh, or at least we have given enough time to start You can see my screen, right? Uh, no, he mentioned. Okay. No. Mm. Mm, yeah. No, okay.
Yeah, hello. Yeah, it's not responding. I'm just waiting for it. So, okay. Uh, I'll be stopping the PPT. So, uh, okay. I uh, hope that is fine. Yeah. Okay. I can free out some memory. <clears throat> I think now it's responding. Yeah, double click on that and uh, yeah, it's not responding again. So we'll wait. If this loads, then everything is fine. If this is not loading, then we are we'll have to wait for it to be responsive. I'm sure mm -hmm. it's not responding. Okay. okay.
Yeah, I have to get your VM ready. Otherwise, we keep on struggling like this on a daily basis. Uh, let's connect tomorrow because you know, there is no point of waiting like this. Uh, I'll keep the VM uh, once it's will start and I'll save it in that for mode only. I was doing a restart thinking that it will uh, get restarted, but I think it is taking more okay. than the usual because it, it was it's allowed 40 minutes now since we I have started this VM. And still, it is in this mode. I don't know why. And it's like uh, after half an hour, if I'll start this uh, toss and everything, right, it will work. So, this process without restart. Initially, I thought it, it is looking for a restart, but it's not a restart uh, which is causing the delay. So, let me see. Uh, and uh, tomorrow, we'll uh, start from here on. If needed, okay. Uh, yeah. You were saying something? Yeah, Imeshu, the regarding the process designer issue, right, in our VM. In yeah, even order. that I will, yeah, yeah, that I will see. But uh, uh, you have to give me weekends time, huh? uh, because uh, in weekdays, even I am struggling with the, I am taking out time for that. So, yeah, if you have some other, that on. Yeah. yeah, I see, Imeshu, if you have any other working VM, then you can send that one also if possible. No, no. The, if you but how will I share? How will I share it? That's the issue actually. Uh, even if I have the VM, even even this VM is a working VM, but how to share it? That is an issue. Because I can ask my admin to share. It. If I share the PP locations to you. The voice is breaking, Finwas. No, okay. So yeah, I can ask my office 